Hello, welcome to AM Whiskey Reviews. I am your host, Ben Rosenthal. I thought I would uh, start by giving uh, an update on the very fluid situation with uh, Burn Before Reading, uh, my script uh, to be produced uh, by Mr. Steven Seagal. It is also a starring vehicle for Mr. Seagal, who has expressed a deep interest in the project. Uh, as you know, I had flown to Iasi, Romania to meet with Mr. Seagal. I was, uh, you know, uh, he did not show up to the meeting. Uh, I received very little notice. He had his reasons. If you, uh, if you refer to the previous uh, edition of the show, you will, you will uh, understand why. Uh, and, uh, but uh, just to refresh your memory, I ended up married to a Romanian farm girl. I did not know that I was wed to her. I had gotten into a long uh, discussion with her parents, and mostly I nodded because neither one of us really spoke a word of each other's language. And before I knew it, I was betrothed. Uh, um, and uh, I'm also a stepfather because she came with uh, children. Um, so uh, I, I've not been able to go back because I certainly don't want to be on the hook for all of those responsibilities. Uh, and I still want to take a meeting with Mr. Seagal. Now, I also want to get Seagal uh, for the, the uh, 100th episode, the centennial uh, episode. Is that, is worth that, you know, that's the 100th anniversary, not a 100th uh, episode. But uh, God almighty, a centennial uh, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> um, the very nature of this show kind of precludes anybody living long enough to uh, to have a centennial uh, edition of the show. Let's face it, unless I unless I, I give the mantle to somebody else, unless I hand the reins to somebody else who can uh, who can uh, continue, um, you know the. Uh, the morning, the morning drinking. Um, but so, yeah, so we're trying to get him. Now, listen, uh, uh, right now I have a standing offer from Mr. Seagal, who him, who's right now, as of now, said he is not going to come. Uh, but he did offer to send uh, a, a, his, a certain help meet of his, a, a, an amanuensis, so to speak, uh, uh, or like more of a, a fix-it man named Radu. Now, uh, Radu is a hunchback, and it is known, you know, traditionally hunchbacks have been, have been thought to bring people good luck. If you were to, say, rub their hump, you would, you would uh, receive good luck. And, and, and Mr. Seagal, it turns out, uh, uh, has always had some aversion or some trepidation about doing some of his own stunts and believed that if he could, if he could have a hunchback on hand, to do those stunts, to, or to to witness him doing those those stunts, uh, in fact, it would uh, it would enable him to do those. He'd be able to get over the fear. So he would have this uh, Radu, who was discovered in a hayloft by a, a member of one of the Romanian film crews. Uh, Radu uh, was not like even other hunchbacks. He was a, a, an extremely um, um, unique individual and was more than happy uh, to uh, sit on the film sets uh, to have his own his own trailer. In fact, most they put his trailer five miles away from all the other trailers. Uh, he'd have to walk to the set because people would refuse to come get him. Uh, evidently, there were a lot of aspects to Radu's personality that made him, um, you know, incompatible with uh, other people working on, on the movies. And, and some of these people were some fairly unsavory characters, evidently, uh, in, from the Romanian underworld. Uh, but even they were, uh, if not afraid of Radu, were perplexed and distressed and unsettled by his, his presence. Uh, such was Radu's personality. Uh, and uh, evidently it had a history of doing things in that hayloft that uh, people uh, found they didn't want to talk about or repeat uh, um, amongst themselves or anybody else. Uh, but Radu became his, his helpmeet, uh, his, his, you know, his guy Friday, his, you know, again, 
Uh, he did everything, and he was there for good luck. Uh, and sometimes even uh, he would be forced to tandem dive uh, with Steven Seagal when he would uh, skydive for a scene if he had to, say, plummet uh, from the top of a building uh, Radu would have to do it with him. Uh, they would knock on the trailer and they'd say, you know, come Radu. And, or, you know, and Radu would come, you know, running over and five miles, he'd be at the set in very little time. He was surprisingly quick. And, uh, before, before they knew it, he, before he knew it, he was undertaking any number of, of very, very daring and, uh, dangerous stunts. Uh, so he also uh, uh, is, is uh, evidently famous for um, trying to stalk a, 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 a woman uh, uh, in a go-kart. The woman was not in a go-kart, but Radu uh, uh, made his own go-kart and uh, was uh, stalking this woman all over Romania. Uh, via Transnistria, uh, 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 Hungary, he, he just, he, he rode this go-kart anywhere it could go. It often ran out of gas. Uh, and, uh, you know, there were even people who were rooting for, for Radu because it, this was such an unusual uh, quest. Uh, you really don't find go-karts used for, for the purposes of uh, erotomanic uh, stalking. Uh, and also they are, they are not really... Uh, very good vehicles for that because they are quite noisy and evidently Radu uh, was famous for making his own noises uh, you know even without the go-kart so you had two noises but uh, this is all by way of saying that um, uh, Steven Seagal has offered uh, to have Radu come here and to uh, appear on the 100th episode of um, AM Whiskey Reviews. Um, so before you decide to pass judgment and that you don't, you know, maybe I'm not going to tune in. Uh, maybe this is, uh, you know, maybe this is something that should never be made or, or you know, maybe we should just, uh, maybe we should just shelve that episode. I mean, we don't know this guy. We don't know him. I've never met him. Uh, I uh, don't have to fly him in at my own expense. Mr. Seagal has been uh, generous enough to fly him in on a uh, on a livestock plane, um, and uh, I I I don't even have to meet him, say at customs or I mean at, at uh, JFK. Uh, it's going to be a small airport, uh, more of an, an air strip. Uh, which is about uh, three and a half hours away in upstate New York. Uh, and I will uh, intercept uh, uh, Radu's uh, livestock plane there, drive him down here, and uh, we will commence the episode. Now, I don't, as we know, I don't speak a word of Romanian, but there is a chance that if I can learn some, that maybe Radu can assist in uh, annulling this marriage uh, he can be a sort of help meet go between for me, in which case then I can return to Romania, take my meeting with Mr. Seagal and, uh, and then, uh, maybe bring him back for the 200th episode. Look, it's, uh, it's not, we're not dead in the water yet. Okay. There's a chance. There's a chance we can get him. Um, and maybe I can have both him and Radu. I'll have uh, Steven Seagal on this side of me and uh, uh, an Arado Manic stalking uh, hunchback on this side of me. I'll have uh, my wolf figurines, Norman Mailer's ghost. It'll be a real, um, it'll be an interesting group. Uh, and, and uh, you know, the, the, nobody can take that away from, from us. Uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to keep these things under 10 minutes and I don't know that I'm going to get to the whiskey, but, uh, let's just say that this is part one of Sailor's Aperitif, which I will be reviewing, uh, uh, next uh, episode. Anyway, thank you for bearing with me on that update and I will see you next time over and out.